Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 or the S10 Plus, the only S10 model right now besides the S10 Ultra, and compare it against the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE and see which particular Samsung Galaxy Tab is the better one for you. Now, the biggest thing I could probably tell you is that if you're in the market and you're going to want to go through and basically pick up a device, it probably would be the best idea to go ahead and purchase a device that is the latest and greatest one. So I think the Tab S10 might be the better one for probably the everyday average person. But I would probably say on top of that, a device like, you know, the you know, Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE is still also a very, very decent device when it comes down to it. So if you want to pick up either one of these devices for the cheapest prices I find, links will be down in the description. You can get that from there you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these particular devices, the Tab S9 FE that came out basically just last year, on the front side of this phone is giving you a 10.9 inch IPS LCD panel. Now this type of display, I would definitely tell you, is not the greatest panel of all time and it definitely is pretty basic when it comes down to it. I kind of do feel like in a lot of ways, you know, Samsung could have done a better job with this panel, like giving us like an actual like OLED display, but still, I guess they're not going to put like the best display inside of this type of phone. So I guess it kind of makes sense in some ways. Now the panel itself is nice. It's 90 Hertz, nothing super crazy, 1440p, but it just kind of gets the job done. But like I said, as you can imagine, it's like kind of like a basic type of display when it comes down to it. Now on the other side of things, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus is basically giving you a 12.4 inch dynamic AMOLED display. So this is without a doubt a significantly better device here, right? It's a better device in almost every single way you can imagine. And if you're definitely going to go through and pick up a device, that is the panel that's better. It's 120 hertz, which is really, really amazing. It looks really nice, it performs really well. And I definitely do think if it comes down to both of these, without a doubt, you're definitely getting a way better device on the Tab S10 Plus than the Tab S9 FE. You're both getting similar type of build quality, so they both feel very, very premium in the hand, which is something that's really awesome. On top of that, you're also getting, you know, basically USB Type-C ports on the bottom, expandable storage on both, which again is very nice to have. And overall, like, there's a lot of similarity here for sure. Like, there's not really too many differences here from the build quality standpoint. It's interesting on the backside though, you are still getting your S Pen stylus support on the Tab S10 Plus. You're getting a single camera on the Tab S9 FE, whereas a, there's a dual camera setup on the Tab S9, where there's a dual camera setup on the Tab S10 Plus, so kind of like a little thing to keep in mind there too. But I definitely will tell you, if you're looking at both these types of devices, there's definitely a lot of overlap here. They both look very, very nice, but definitely without a doubt, the Tab S10 Plus is probably the better one here for the everyday average person. Now, on top of that, when it comes down to the price tag side of things, this is also another interesting thing here. So when it comes down to the price tag, the Tab S10 Plus is a more expensive device overall than the Tab S9 FE. So that's just kind of what ends up happening when you're going to go through and you know pick up these types of tablets, is that in almost every single, single way you can imagine, the Tab S10 Plus is going to be a more expensive one, whether you're going in the brand new market or you're going in the used market. Now, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but that is just, again, one of those things you're going to have to keep in mind here, is that if you are wanting the better performing tablet, especially from a price tag standpoint, it's going to be the Tab S9 FE. The, the FE lineup is supposed to be this cheap budget tier device list that you know Samsung makes, and I like it a lot, you know, I think it's a really, really nice thing they do. But again, if you're getting a cheaper one, expect it to be cheaper in every single way. And definitely, like I said before, the Tab S10 Plus definitely outperforms the, you know, Galaxy Tab S9 FE in every single way you can imagine. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there too. Now, in terms of the camera side of things, like I said before, you're getting a single 8 megapixel camera on the Tab S9 FE, whereas on the back of the Tab S10 Plus, you're getting a dual camera setup, a 13 megapixel you know, wide angle camera, then an eight megapixel ultra wide camera. So like I said before, if you're trying to go through and get the better performing camera here, it pretty much is going to be the Tab S10 Plus. You're able to do 4K at 60 on the front, or you're able to do 4K at 30 on the back of both of these, and 4K at 30 on the back of the you know S10 Plus, but you're only able to do 4K at 30 on the back of the Tab S9 FE. I think it's only 1080p on the front side of that particular camera. So as you could probably have imagined here too, basically in every single way here, you're definitely getting a way better camera on the Tab S10 Plus. But even then, that's kind of an overstatement. Like, I don't want to give the impression that that is like the best performing camera of all time. Because here's the thing, with something like the Tab S10 Plus, that is like, you know, like if you have a Galaxy S10, like a Samsung Galaxy S10, that is probably a better performing camera than this thing is. 
So even from that side, once again, you're getting a way better performing camera from something that's within your phone than from something like one of these things. So I know it's kind of annoying here and there, but that is, again, just one of those things to kind of keep in mind there. So if you are wanting the overall better performing camera, again, it's the Tab S10 Plus, but the Tab S9 FE is still like not that far off either, in my opinion. So that kind of covers it up there too. Now, on top of that, when it comes down to software longevity, if you are wanting the longer lasting device here, it probably is going to be the Tab S10 Plus. That device makes a lot more sense for me to kind of recommend to people. That seems to me that it's going to be the longer lasting one. So that's also the one I'd probably recommend people to kind of think about buying as well. If you're wanting the device that's going to be lasting the longer period of time, like I said before, pretty much for the everyday average person, it's going to be the Tab S10 Plus. But the Tab S9 FE is still going to be here for quite a bit of time. I don't think that's going anywhere anytime soon. But from a long lasting standpoint, it's probably going to be the Tab S10 Plus. But also on top of that, when it comes down to the long lasting battery life, surprisingly, both these are giving you pretty long lasting battery life, which is really, really nice. And that is something that I actually like a lot. But if you are going to go through and get a device, you know, the Tab S9 FE is giving you an 8,000 mAh battery. The Tab S10 Plus is giving you a 10,090 mAh battery. So this side as well, like if you're trying to go and get the longer lasting battery life here, once again, it could make a lot more sense for people to go ahead and buy something like a Galaxy Tab S10 Plus here, because that is also going to be giving you better battery life. So that right there is just another pretty big thing to keep in mind there too. Now, on top of those things, when it comes down to the performance, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus has that you know MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus chipset inside, where the Galaxy Tab S9 FE is basically giving you a little bit of a different type of chipset. It's giving you that Exynos 1380 chipset. So when it comes down to the performance side, I would probably say once again, in almost every single way, you're probably going to be getting an overall better performing tablet inside of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus. That one is going to be the one that's going to be giving you an overall better performing tablet in almost every single way. And that's the one, once again, I'd recommend the everyday average person to go ahead and buy. Between both, you're going to be getting very similar types of performances, meaning that you'll still be able to go through and like whatever you throw at either one of these, they're still going to be very good performing phones or good performing tablets. So once again, you're not really going to experience too many issues or too many differences when it comes down to that side. But if you are going to want the, if you want the longer lasting device here, once again, it's pretty much going to be the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus from a performance perspective. So overall, to kind of sum this whole entire thing up, what I'll definitely tell you is a device like the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus is probably the overall better performing device. You probably would have expected that, but that is the one that I think if I'm going to go through and pick up a device, that's the one that's the better one in almost every single way. I think the Tab S9 FE is good for the price. Like if you want a cheap performing tablet, then I think that's a very, very decent option. And I think, you know, that's the one I'd probably recommend to people to go ahead and buy. But I definitely do think if you're going to go through and pick up a device, just go ahead and buy the Tab S10 Plus. That makes a lot more sense. But I think the S9 FE is still okay for a lot of people as well. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.